All right, what's going on, guys? So I finally got my 2K working correctly. Um, I'm just going to jump into some more animation mods. I do want to show you guys something. So if you've been around modding for a while, and I know some of you watching this video are new to it, just kind of ignore this part or skip forward. I don't want to have to explain this to you. But to the guys who have been around modding for a little while and are comfortable with it, I'm using Jonesoft Generic Mod Enabler, or JSGME to uh, activate some animation mods. Now, it, it does require me to restart the game whenever I insert a new one for these animations, but that's okay. All right, so let's see. If I go to play now, I'm gonna play now. I'm gonna go to 2KU. I'm gonna load up this roster so that I can have access to all of the ISO signature combos. All right, so we're gonna find another team let's see current bucks yeah we'll use these two teams this should work now they're gonna have high school jerseys so don't mind that I'll pause the video real quick until we get into practice all right once again here we are in practice I'm using the uh, movie lighting mod by Samuel all right so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit this left trigger button and it's gonna trigger an animation that I've uh, overridden with let's see all right, he's not doing it let me back up gotta be out here so he starts dancing and of course that's not Kobe Bryant like but anyway all right Chris Paul go to the right hand all right there we go so as you can see he's doing an animation you can't really tell what the animation is so it's like a cooking, stirring the pot motion. Most of these animations are going to be st stuff they're doing while they're jogging. I'm trying to find a good way to use these. I guess if it, it, it could be used as like B-roll footage if you're doing a some type of series. Let's see if I can find. Let me go substitutions. I'll put in Iverson, see what animation he does. Go to the right. There we go. Okay, that's his. It's an Aaron Gordon animation throwing up the X. Try it again from here. A hey. okay, it's a short animation, but you guys kind of get the gist. You could use this stuff for like some B-roll footage. Again, I'm going to try to have all this out by the weekend, so it'll be a few different packages. I'm going to try to explain it a little better, a little bit better. Now, I'm not perfect at explaining things, so it's going to require you guys to have some knowledge on modding already. If you've been watching my channel for years, then you kind of know some stuff, okay? You probably know some stuff. If you just started watching me this year, a lot of the stuff I got into, uh, people like the arenas and environments, people are like, oh, why is everything great? Well, you had to be watching me before. So that's the advantage of like being subscribed to the channel. And I get it. You just didn't. Some of you just didn't know about my channel before. But um, it, you can go back and watch the old videos. They're still there. They're still free. Um yeah, I like this animation right here. So let's go back and see. So this would be the Steve Nash signature. Uh, signature. The Steve Nash size up combo is replaced with this animation. Let's see what he does. Hey, hey, hey. So I'm going to go. I'm actually going to jump into a live game for you guys. And let's see what Derrick Rose does. Because I, I should have about 30 of these animations. About three teams worth of animation. So come over to the right. Okay, he's pounding his chest. Okay. So go to instant replay. I'm going to jump into a game here in just a second. I'll pause, pause the video and then jump back in while we're in the game. Let me see if this will make a good thumbnail. Uh, he's he's not pounding it. He's just like patting it. Okay, but he has some emotion in his face. That could be a decent thumbnail. Take a screenshot. It's also a good way to show off uh, cyber faces with these.
poses and animations. I've got some animations where players are standing still and celebrating and not really running, but most of these animations, almost all of these animations that you see in this video are going to be the players jogging and doing something. Um, all right, so I'm going to jump into a game here. All right, so here we are. We're jump <clears throat> Excuse me. We're jumping into the middle of a game. Now I'm going to show you guys these animations. All right, so this is Trey Young. All right, come back, Trey Young. Uh, gonna look at what the animation looks like starting here. All right. So maybe we wanna, like, if we wanted to record, we would like come right here. I like doing it in the backcourt so there's nobody around them, so you can get a clean look at the animation and record. So you, all you would need to really do, looks like he's moving slow, but. You can speed this up if you wanted to somehow. But anyway, you could get these little these little animations and then you know record them for like uh, B-roll footage. So let's say you recorded your gameplay and then afterwards you go back in and you add these little animations into the middle. So let's say you got a good th a big three or a dunk or a steal or a block. Then you add these little animations in. The footage of these animations in to your gameplay in between your gameplay all right so Isaiah Thomas's animation runs all the way forward so let's see what it looks like the only thing about Isaiah's animation is that he runs into the defense I don't like that part So that's not bad, but I would need him running away from the defense. All right, so let's go here. I would I would come in close for his recording, but then you can't see the top of his hand. Nah, yeah, his would be hard to record without defensive players getting in the way. Maybe you would need to record his in a green screen setting. Nah, probably not though. Cuz he's moving. These jogging animations are not going to be good to record in a green screen animation cuz your background won't be moving. Uh, let's see. So it's in his right hand now. All right. All right, I'm going to switch teams real quick so we can see some of the other animations. There's about 33 animations. So I had to span, there's about 33 players, and they're all on my first three teams. Let's see, come over here, do the animation. Okay, he does this. This is how I got uh, the screenshot of Jalen Green. Basically, he does the hotline bling dance. Come on, come on. This is an old cyber face that doesn't actually go with this game, but here let me see if he does it. I can't remember which. Basically, about right here is where I got the Jalen Green. About right there. Got Jalen Green. I don't know. But Jalen Green was looking at the camera. I don't know. Anyway, it was something similar to this. But yeah, you can record this. Get the footage like this. Take out the part where he's dribbling. Forget that his nipples are out, all right? Coming down, doing that, and then cut it back to gameplay. You get what I'm saying? Uh, the the people who know, know. <clears throat> the people who make videos, they know what I'm saying. All right, let me pass the ball to Kyrie. I don't know if I got his animation yet. Let's try it. Oh, yeah, I like his. All right, I got to come way over here just to do it. And I can't. Didn't have enough time. So anyway, once you find a player with the animation you want, basically, um, you will know to assign their size up combo to your player. All right, so Durant. Let's try his. Oh, this is not Durant. It's T-Mac tripping. Okay, his is just like the hand in the face, like you can't see me, John Cena type thing. 
who else is on this team? We got Iverson and Levine. So let's see. Let's try Levine. To the right side. Oh, no, he's coming back this way. So try it now. All right. Eight second violation, but you get a good uh, you get a good idea what his animation does. Probably need the rules off. I don't know if I can turn the rules off. I'll check in a second, but come on, man. All right. So you would be like this. You want to get in close on some of these and just let the animation play out. Seems like it's playing a little slow, but find a good a good angle. Let's see, can I get in close here or maybe even get behind him? Kind of get it in the air. All right, so anyway. All right, so um, yeah, that's how these, these animations go. I, if you want, I could show more, but I'm trying to think of some things. You know, these animations could be good for like screenshots, stuff like that. Let me see, I'm gonna switch over to the other team real quick, one more time. See if I can get you guys. Oh, I didn't even switch. Two sides, switch. All right, so right hand, Isaiah Tom. Oh, no, 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 no. I think I might have lost the ball here. Yeah, all right. So basically, I'm not, I'm going to quit out once. I, I, yeah, I have to go over the glitch that happens if you try to do the animation with the ball in their left hand. All right, let's see if one of these guys can show me an animation. I'll show you Giannis's. He doesn't have, he has the basic size up combo on him. So he just does a little clap. Very simple. So. With this camera mod, plus these animations, it, you can kind of get some creative stuff going. Anyway, that's enough for this video. It's almost 15 minutes. Um, but there's there's tons more animations that I didn't show in this video. I would like to show them, but uh, it will just make a long video. Probably make a better live stream. Uh, plus, I got to make another video for the standing animation. So, catch you guys.